Hello everyone, Kryptonite here and welcome back to another video. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about even more things you might not know about Indincom. If you find any of these tips helpful, make sure you hit that like button. And also make sure that if there's any mechanics or little tips that you don't think are widely known in Dinkum, make sure you drop them down in the comments down below and share your knowledge to other people. It's great to get the whole community involved and help each other out. And of course, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. We're three quarters of the way to our goal of a on subscribers and i do appreciate all the support that you've all given me so far so i would really appreciate it if you did like and subscribe and show this video some love so i can keep making more and more videos for you all so without further ado let's get straight into the video okay so the first tip of this video is going to be one that i'm not sure if it was recently added into the game on an update or whether it was just massively overlooked and that is going to be did you know that you can now pause the game so before you were unable to pause the game so if you had to go and sort some other bits and pieces out you'd either have to obviously exit the game and lose your day progress or you'd have to sleep waste a day for it to save and then exit the game but now you can just pause the game if you press escape and you head over to the options just here on your right hand side is a new pause button and this will pause time and pause the game entirely that is kind of obvious when you realize it's there but it has been overlooked by so many people but the second tip of the video is all about catching animals now as you're all aware when you're catching and trapping animals if you want to sell them and send them off to research you have to have the animal collection point here but did you know that you don't have to have the animal collection point to be able to sell animals so let's quickly catch this bird here there we go nice and easy so we'll pick him up and now instead of going to the animal collection point did you know that you can just head on straight into john's shop and you can just pop him straight on the scale and there you go you have successfully delivered your animal that you've caught and another game mechanic that some people might not know is in regards to harvesting whether you're harvesting your farm whether you're harvesting some trees or whether you're mining ores and bits and pieces like that once you've successfully harvested and your items are all over the floor like this instead of having to right click each one to pick it all up if you just hold down the right mouse button and just walk in front of it you can pick it all up in one go so this little trick is especially handy when you're mining ores so if you just hold down the right mouse button and you hold the left mouse button to mine as well you will automatically pick up the ores mined a handy little tip when it comes to your tools and weapons is don't keep using them until they break what you want to do is like my axe here which is near enough done for as well as my pickaxe what you want to do is you want to head over to john's and you want to sell them before they break the reason why you want to do this is because it's just a little bit more efficient because instead of it breaking and you lose it forever say for instance this copper axe here if i sell this to john it's not a lot but at least you get around about three and a half thousand dings back which is gives you a little bit of extra money instead of having nothing when it breaks and you lose it for good so that's just something to bear in mind so a nice little handy trip when you're out treasure hunting is when you've dug up a barrel like this instead of getting your pickaxe and destroying it did you know that you can just drop some seeds or drop a tree down there or anything like that drop them down put your dirt back on and it will instantly destroy your barrel which just saves you using your pickaxe and obviously just speeds up the process a lot so the next tip i'm going to show you is a nice little hidden mechanic that i found out while i was over here just planting some grass so you know when you have some grass seeds and you left click you end up having a nice patch of glass but did you know that if you bury the grass seeds something amazing happens once you sleep to the next day but we'll go back to over here which is where i found this little sort of mechanic out so i wasn't sure on how you lay the grass down so i wanted some fur grass just to make it look nice and pretty so i didn't realize that you had to left click like this to make the grass down so i was burying the grass seeds because i thought it would work the same way as the trees and bits and pieces like that but anyway i thought i'd come back and do some terraforming over here and as you can see like where i've planted all my seeds i seem to have all of these nice hidden treasures i'm not sure exactly how many days it takes but as you can see look i've got i've got four barrels here just here and i planted honestly can't remember how many seeds i planted quite a few seeds as you can see where it's all been dug up to plant the grass but it seems like i've just created myself a whole load of buried treasure but if anyone does know the exact amount of days you have to wait for this to happen make sure you drop a comment down below and let everyone else know but this is a really handy trick 
for some free buried treasure and for the final tip of the video so you know that you can't put insects or bugs or anything into storage chests as you can see here but did you know that you can if you head into your house for instance have them in your hotbar and if you left click and press place you can basically keep them indefinitely and they won't despawn but you need to make sure that you place them down if you do press Q or drop them rather than place them then they will despawn but I've got a plan when I upgrade my house a little bit more but I'm going to have my own little sort of bug corner I think it kind of just adds a nice aesthetic look so there we go everyone there's some nice few tips for you all and something about the game mechanics that you might not have known in Dinkum so hopefully some of them you didn't know and they will help you out in your future playthrough to Dinkum and hopefully you can show me some love and support hit that like button drop me a little comment down below if there's any tips that you will know of that you want to share with the community and obviously don't forget to hit that subscribe button to show your support and keep watching more Dinkum videos thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one